hello guys as part of today's video I'm going to show how we can set up and configure 500 pages on SXA based websites you know uh, I'm sure like most of you guys are already aware of how to set up 500 and based on found pages on SXA but uh, as I have received a request to to have a video on how to set up you know uh, 500 pages on SXA so that's the reason I'm creating this video and maybe you know it it helps other guys as well so let's just get started so <coughs> as I say basically we you know we have uh, uh, as I say provides page not found and error 500 pages feature out of the box right which means we really don't have to you know write anything from scratch to make these uh, pages work so the first step uh, before we set up uh, in, in the process of you know setting up uh, five, 500 pages the first step is creating uh, you know, creating uh, an error 500 page first in your site code, which is what I have just created here. You know, error 500 page. So if I try to access this page, this page should work, which I've already tested before. So if I go to error 500, this page is now working, right? And before that, uh, let me also show you a page which we will, uh, which we see is currently breaking, right? We see this about page is currently breaking and we'll you know we'll we'll set up 500 page and see how we can show user friendly page uh, instead of you know this yellow screen <coughs> to our end users so the first step is you know creating this uh, error 500 page which you have already done next step is go to your setting uh, your you know your site your settings item and then look for error handling section so if i search for error handling section here you know we have two two fields here one for your page not found link and another one for your server error page link this is used when we try to load a page which doesn't exist uh, and the, the second field here uh, that is server error page link needs to be populated with the actual page which we created to support you know uh, our 500 page so in this case as I shown you like I have created error 500 page so that is that's the page link which I have to set here as part of this field so let's just do that go to home and set up this error 500 page right uh, so once you are once you populate the value of your error 500 page here save it and then you publish your changes once you publish it okay so once you publish it uh, the next step would be going to site grouping item of your website which is under your settings right so let me just collapse this home item so you have your you know site node then you have your settings and under settings you have your site grouping so go to the site grouping item and then you will find a section um, error handling so if you click on that you will find uh, a button to generate static error page here right so before i click on generate static error page let me you know take you to the root folder and see currently we don't have any you know error pages created here error kind of folder uh, you know i would say so we don't have any folder specific to error okay so uh, yeah so what we need to do here is just go to a site grouping item go to your site node and then go to error handling and just click on generate static error page then you you get a message saying that you know generating static error page click on ok ok so now once you click ok then if you go back to your site route you would see like you we have an error page folder created here right and then uh, it has an HTML file which is with the same name for which for which site currently we are working on which means if you see here we are working on uh, for the site called club zone so we have the same HTML created for the same site right club zone.html and if I try to open the content of this file it is same as you know uh, sandbox error page the content is all coming from uh, the page which I, have, which I have set up as part of my settings item for error page link okay so this is the HTML we have okay now now if I try to load that page that is my about page which was breaking before oh, that should be giving me f you know the, the user friendly page instead of that yellow screen page to our end users so the, the you know the process is pretty straightforward uh, let me just um, repeat those steps once again to be clear first step is you know set up your 
500 page in your site code once that is done and this page should be accessible that's one thing then um, go to your settings item and then go to then go to your error handling section which has uh, a field for server error page link so here you need to map the item which you have created you know f uh, which to support your error 500 uh, page so you just need to map that uh, item here just save your changes and publish it once that is done you just need to go to your site grouping item for your site click on your um, you know for whichever site you are working on and then click on error handling and click on generate static error page once you you know uh, you click on generate static error page you it generates a static HTML file in the root of your solution in, in the root of your basically website folder then uh, under error pages and then you know HTML file the content is same as what we have set up for your uh, you know set up as part of our error 500 page inside code then yeah then pretty much that's it and then from that point when you try to access any page which is breaking you see you know it uh, it will give you uh, the user friendly page so yeah it's that's it um, you know from uh, from this video and i i hope you know it it helps uh, and then let me know if you have any questions feel free to you know update uh, in the comment section if you have any questions and then yeah we also have you know a page from uh, uh, sideco which talks about you know how to set up error pages on sxa so i'll also update this link uh, you know uh, in my comment section there uh, so just for for a reference perspective yeah uh, that's it from from this video uh, thanks for watching and uh, thanks a lot